Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Today, of course, once again, it's time to discuss an anime. And today we're discussing Black Summoner. Let's move on. My overall opinion was that I enjoyed it. Quite simple. I also read the manga, and it stayed true to the manga more or less. Uh, there were some things that omitted, but of course it's obvious you can't, you know, pack all the content that's in uh, a novel or in a manga into an anime. So it, it makes sense that a lot of the like skill tinkering and side dialogue and them just going out and doing random things some days was omitted because uh, they had to you know keep it to you know twelve episodes and stuff like that. Um, I feel like him being a summoner, thus the title Black Summoner, kind of becomes secondary at some point. Uh, he mainly fights with magic that's not summons, but he still does <coughs> excuse me, have his summons out that uh, help him or fight on their own, stuff like that. So, I mean, he, he, there is still elements of him being a summoner, but for the most part, he feels like he's just a normal mage, uh, to be honest. Moving on to the things that I liked. Uh, the magic was cool. Their animations and everything was, was excellent. The, I, I really like magic uh, when there's magic circles involved with, like, casting spells or defending against stuff. I feel like it just adds a nice little layer to different things, so it's, it's pretty cool when that happens. Um, all the characters and the interactions that they have, you know, the main character, Kelvin, and um, all the other supporting characters that he has, like Clotho the Slime, Gerald the uh, Knight Guy, uh, Ephiel the Half-Elf that he gets, and all that, and of course Melfina, the, the goddess, and uh, Sarah, and Rion. The uh, other characters as well. All that stuff's real nice. And all that good jazz is excellent. And I really enjoy uh, Calvin's battle junkie nature. Like, whenever he gets into an intense fight where he's not sure if he's going to win or if it's, like, a good fight, he'll, he'll break out into a smile, like an epic grin. And it's just so lovely. Now, moving on to some things I didn't like. Uh, I really only had one thing I didn't particularly like about the series. And that was that CG is used for some of the battles. Yeah. And I think, if I can remember all of them properly, it was only two battles. The, the first fight that involves Gerald, the, the knight summon monster, uh, that one was CG. And then the final fight on the last episode had some CG in it. And then I don't get why it was used. Okay. I, I just don't understand. Um, there were other fights between those two that were just as intense, if not more intense, uh, that did not use CG. And so I don't really get why like, there was more movement involved in some of them and all that good jazz, but they just chose to use CG for one of the first fights and the last fight. It just seems weird, right? I just, I just don't understand it. But, I mean, to be fair, Gerald, the, the knight, he was CG throughout most of the show. Uh, just because he's a heavily armored guy that moves around a lot, so it, it makes sense to make him CG. But he didn't feel out of place for the most part. The stuff I'm talking about specifically with the CG animation is the characters. When they go from like looking relatively good to looking like just a, a really crappy 3D model. Uh, that's, that's not cool. I don't like it. I do not enjoy it. And that's really all that I did not dislike. CG used. Yeah. Also, uh, I don't know why, but for like the final fight arc, like a, uh, a giant is shown and whatnot. Uh, but I, I don't remember in the manga it being a giant. For some reason, instead of a giant, I remember it being like a giant turtle that was like heavily armored. And yeah, maybe there was a giant. And maybe the turtle came first. And then after the turtle died, then the soldiers and the giant came. And that's how it happened? I remember a giant turtle thing. Like a giant mountain-sized turtle that they fought in the manga. So, 
It's kind of weird that that wasn't in there. Anyway, moving on. I do understand cutting it out just for space and time. So moving on, would I recommend it? And would I think there's a second season coming? Well, I would absolutely recommend it. It was a good isekai anime this season. Quite decent. Um, it's not like the best, let me tell you, not the best anime, not even the best isekai. It is a fun one to watch, though. And uh, as for second season, there's definitely enough content for another season. Uh, there's a whole, like, kingdom war thing that happens in the manga that has not been covered in the <coughs> anime yet. And uh, they do, like, imply that there could be a second season. Because at, at the last frame of the anime, they say, uh, and the story continues, dot, 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 like in text. So I don't know if that means, like, hey, we are doing a second season, or if it means, like, like the usual, like, Finn, like, this is the end. Their story continues, and you won't see it, because we don't like to make anime that have the full freaking story. Weirdos, I don't know. But yeah, I'd love a, another season for it. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah. Also, it's really weird to me that anime and like J Japan as a whole can like get away with not making the entire story in a certain media, right? And I get it because there's like light novels and manga and anime and whatnot. There's, you know, oh, well, we're not going to do a second season of the anime, so, you know, go check out the, the manga or go check out the um, light novel or whatever, you know? But, I don't know, it feels like a cop-out. Like, do people really do that? Do they really go watch or, or, or read a manga or something like that after they've watched the first season of an anime and then whatnot? I'm sure there are people out there who do it. Um, I particularly have. I guess with One Punch Man, I, I went on to check that out. That's really the only one I can think of immediately. Yeah. But still... But well, still, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see Japan kind of like stop doing this and actually make whole seasons, but I guess I can kind of understand why it happens because a lot of the time they give the like manga or light novel and anime when the story's not finished. So they really can't continue on with the, the anime uh, or else they would just have to kind of do what the, the Game of Thrones uh, ended up doing where they kind of had like improvising ending and it wasn't what the author was actually planning or they didn't do it properly and then people lost their shit about it you know I can understand that but man come on like maybe instead of having you know anime for stories that are still ongoing maybe look at sh anime or manga that are finished, or light novels that are finished, so you can do a, their entire thing in anime form. Throwing it out there. Whatever. Anyway, that's my thoughts on various things, and Black Summoner. Sorry to ramble on there at the end a little bit, but well, stuff happens. Anyway, everyone, thank y'all for watching. I think we have Otherworld Pharmacy, and uh, I'm drawing a blank on the night one. It, 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 in in the night or walking in the oh my god what is it called holy crap why can I not remember uh, let me look it up real quick I'm an idiot uh, call of the night Jesus Christ yeah we have call of the night and alternate world pharmacy that I'm going to be discussing uh, remaining so after those two will be done alrighty well everyone thank y'all for listening and uh, hanging out I'll catch you next time Bye-bye.